Uh, good evening and welcome again to Mathematical Literacy. We don't have a grade because this thing is all the grades. Now, I am Mr. J.F. Chavang. I will be helping you with your math literacy. This thing is not a topic. That's why I'm saying it does not have a grade. It's a tool. It's a skill that you require to solve problems, which is unit conversions. In the previous video, we did unit conversions of mass and and distance units between kgs and grams and between kilometers and meters so today we are doing something new uh, which is converting between the units of what of temperatures as we move from one unit to another now in temperature we have many units that we can use but for now we are focusing on fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. Now, units with temperature are not limited only to these two. You have others like Kelvin and many others. So now we want to deal with Fahrenheit. Fa, fa, Fahrenheit, which is represented by capital letter F. Please make sure the representation is correct because if you, if you if you write your own things now this is degrees Fahrenheit now uh, you must be able to know that it is a big F or capital letter F don't write please don't come with your small letters uh, because the math is important what you write must reflect what you know if you write with a small letter F I assume that oh no man my learner is saying I don't know these things sir so now, okay, now we said we focus on Fahrenheit and the other one which is degrees Celsius, right? Which is represented by degrees at the top and capital letter C. Please don't write these things because most of the time you like writing your things. This is not degrees Celsius. You see, the, the zero there is small and it's at the top. And the C is a capital letter. Please, please, please don't write. Your writing is very much important. Make sure you write the correct thing. Degrees Celsius has the correct notation. So now, how do you interconvert between the units? Now, let's say uh, we have a problem now. The problem they are saying, we want us, I want you to convert, convert. Convert 50, degree, 50 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. So remember last time, last lesson or previous video, I said for you to convert, you need to have a conversion factor. Conversion factor is the relationship between your units. Now we want the relationship between our units. The units are degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. How are they related? Fortunately enough, or like enough, most of the time they give you this. Now, degrees Fahrenheit, capital F, is equal to 1.8 multiplied by whatever in degrees Celsius plus 32. So now, this is how we convert. So now, how do we, how do we do it? Eh? we write and analyze the equation what is the meaning of the equation that means here you write the values that are given in Fahrenheit and then here the C is standing for degrees Celsius please look at the bracket you see the 1.8 not n times degrees Celsius they are in one bracket please do that don't introduce your own stuff now okay so now you have 1.8 so we want to convert this thing from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So the 1.8 is there. It's a constant. Don't do anything with it. It's there. It's given. Now times. What is in, in degrees Celsius that is given in the equation? It is 50. Uh, there is a decrease there. Plus 32 degrees. So what do you get? You use your calculate. You press your calculate. So let's see our calculator. 
uh, now uh, there is a problem with our calculator okay yeah there it appears so now what do we do we are saying you put your brackets that uh, the calculator has some issues uh, our calculator I don't know maybe it's on a lockdown as well maybe it's a lockdown that's why it's not working it's saying no say it's a lockdown we don't have to be starting you know with maths we are always behind there's no time for fun so maths teachers are always like that lockdown or no lockdown we are studying so we are saying one point eight press your calculator get used to press your calculator because most of the time learners they do not use their calculators they don't use their calcul let us and they wait for exams to, then they borrow then you find out you don't know how to press it so 1,8 times 50 and you close your bracket please do what is correct don't do what you think is correct now and then what do we get we get that this thing is equal to 120 to what Fahrenheit 122 you can write it in with Fahren eight, right? So that is a question. So now let's say we are given the 122. We want to work backwards. Now we want to convert the second question. Question number two. Convert one twenty-two degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius now given given the equation degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32 now uh, this is what is given you are given this equation and you want to convert from Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. How do you convert? Let us start by rearranging our equation so that we get degrees Celsius as an subject of our equation. So the first thing we do, take this 32, put it on the other side. And then you see the 32 is positive. When it jumps the equal sign, it will change and become negative so you have f Fahrenheit that is there and now we shifted the 32 and moved it on the other side you have 32 degrees there's degrees here equals to then we have moved the one the 32 you remain with 1.8 times degrees Celsius right so now you have this but we don't want this we want to remain with degrees Celsius as a subject of formula. What do you do? You divide with 1.8. 1.8. So that means whatever in degrees Celsius is equal to F minus 32 in bracket divided by 1.8. Right? So it doesn't matter whether you write it the C on the other side. So it's the same. Thing. So what do we do? We say in degrees Celsius, our answer, what is there? In Fahrenheit, you are given 122. So you take the 122 and you put it where there is F. So you have 122 minus 32 over 1.8. And then you have your calculator. Let's have our calculator. Uh, our calculator our calculator now has uh, well uh, now our calculator has 122 122 minus 2 already we know that it must be equal to 50 we just want to prove that is it 50 yes Let's see, uh, our calculator has some issues. I don't know what's the problem now. 
uh, but if you use yours you get that this thing is quite so 50 degrees Celsius please do it at home and see if you are getting the same answer so for your homework for your homework you do this Uh, Leno, it's not the classwork again. I'm used to classwork. Now, this is our homework. Uh, my screen looks very untidy, but you probably may have a lot to write in a small screen. So now, we am giving you a task. Please do it. Now, your homework. Number one, convert hundred degrees Celsius in to Fahrenheit. Number two, convert. Uh, let's say convert two hundred Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. Please do this activities and make sure you understand where you do not understand you are free to pause your question thank you see you in the next video